Well, hello and welcome to you on what has been a really wintry evening all over the place. We've had snow particularly in this neck of the woods for most of the day and we have to be extremely grateful for the efforts of this evening's hosts in ensuring that our match here can go ahead as planned. There were reports earlier regarding potential difficulties reaching this venue and you can understand why. Let us hope that not too many have been held up and that the match can go ahead as planned. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Berghaus. Looking for a decent ball in. Hit into the middle. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. Towering header! He's missed, but by that far. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Forward it goes. Done very well to intervene. Berghaus. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Hoists it forward. And let down by a lack of accuracy. Bubble. Feinaldum. Plays it out to the flank. Crossfield changing the point of attack and it's played forward and Dyke does well to read it and intercepts not long till half time and it is still goalless Berghaus Berghaus delivers to get it forward quickly. And the half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. It's the first half compared with your expectation. It's been a pretty abject performance. No effort at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. And we are already promptly back on the way. Costa Rica can be very glad that half time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. And a goal kick. Hoists it forward. De Ligt is there and he can get that clear. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, that's over hit.
Played out to the right. Burkhouse. Gets into a dangerous position. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Has a pop! Van Dijk. Very few chances to talk off, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Sillison gets it upfield. Berghaus. Berghaus huckling down that right flank. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Berghaus. Vijnaldum. The Netherlands merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Wijnaldum pings it out wide. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Babel, and it's Wijnaldum. The Netherlands cannot afford to waste this if they want to avoid extra time. Can he deliver? Five minutes left on the clock. The Netherlands cannot afford for this to peter out. There just isn't time. Chance! Oh, that's a fine save! De Jong sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Right towards the front men. The 90 minutes are up, 30 more to come. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. So all square, we need a winner. And we will be back for extra time. The hostilities have already resumed. The room. And it's played forward. Campbell pushes to get on the end of it. So here comes a substitution. to throw it. Forward it goes. Well played, he saw that coming. Fine Aldum. That's one way to annoy his teammates. We've reached the midway point in extra time. Yeah, it's still goalless, but will it be a refereeing decision? A mistake or a moment of magic now that makes all the difference? 